Hello everyone, Caleb with Danzy Design Build here and today we're in Harriman at this basement walkout entry that we're doing and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about waterproofing new doors or windows when you're remodeling your home. So this is really important because later down the road there's going to be a lot of water that comes onto the project on the windows and around the windows and the windows and doors are the most vulnerable places for water to enter the home and start rotting the framing or creating mold. So this is important to make sure that it's done right before the exterior facade is installed, whether that's stucco, siding, or whatever you're doing on your remodeling project, the flashing and the waterproofing is really important. So we're gonna look at this example that we're doing here today on this basement walkout entry in Harriman and show you how we're making sure that this is going to be waterproofed correctly and make sure that it doesn't rot later down the road. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we are using this Vicor product here. Essentially, this is a self-adhered um, waterproofing membrane that has a kind of a plastic flexible layer on top with a tar layer on the back. And then it has this paper backing for so you can install it so basically what we do when we're doing this is we start at the bottom and we start with our our bottom flashing first and then we layer on the flashing as it goes up the wall so over here on this particular basement walkout entry we have a storage room over here on this side and then this is the entry into the basement and so we start on the bottom and work our way up so we put on this flashing first and the one over there and then I would do the vertical ones. So I did two here and then one on that side. I'm just about to put this one on here. And that's going to make sure that when the water comes down the wall, it sheds off instead of shedding into the wood. So over here I have this one all done. And basically this brick molding is going to cover the sides of this jam. And that's how it's going to look once we get it nailed on there. So this jam has a, a jam extension here because the wall was so thick that we needed to put a jam extension and then the brick molding on the outside. So this is how the waterproofing should look when you're, when you're getting it on here to make sure that any water that hits here sheds down and sheds onto the next piece and then down and out. So we keep it dry. There we go. So if you have any questions about remodeling your home or finishing your basement, you can reach out to us on our website, danzydesignbuild.com. We'd love to talk to you and see how we can help you. Thanks, have a great week.